Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. In this video, I'm gonna go over what a Syracuse roofing contractor can do to rank better for the keyword roofing contractor. I'm gonna focus on the share of local voice metrics, so the top three map pack listings. We're gonna go over Google My Business, Bing Places for Business, we're gonna look at the website, and then finally, we're gonna go over entity building in and around Syracuse, New York to rank better. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm in the comparative report section within Local Falcon. The keyword here is roofing contractor, and let's focus on SOS Roof in New York at their position number three within the share of local voice map. So they are 27%, uh, which means that all these dots here, 27% of the time it's position one, two, or three, which means they're on page one of Google. Now you can see that if I move my screen over here, when you go south of their location, they are not ranking as well. So they're missing out on the full Syracuse, New York, location that's directly there that's position 16 over here there and everything around it they're not on page one so i'm going to go over some things they're doing right and some ways that they can improve their share of local voice especially south of uh this you know the syracuse area because that's actually where it's more densely populated it's actually where they're going to get the most people also to find their business too so if you search for sos roofing new york you're going to get their knowledge panel and uh, one thing that's doing very well for them is they have a keyword roofing in their name the name is a big ranking factor. So if you have a keyword that you can use, that's great. If you don't, try and get a DBA doing business as. It's a great way to expand your legal name so you can uh, display within Google and also Bing. It is a big ranking factor. I've had clients that have got a DBA, we were able to update the name and their rankings have dramatically improved uh, with that. Um, it's a big ranking factor for this. So they are doing very well because they have the keyword roofing in that. Uh, number two, 190. Google reviews, 4.8 out of five, go to newest. And you can see here, actually someone did not really like it. Too well, two out of five, but if I was the owner, I would respond to that and show a little bit of empathy, you know, say something like, I'm sorry, we were unable to um, uh, give you a satisfying um, experience with our services. We would love to, you know, hear about you. And like, here's our email you can reach out to, our phone number, or anything else like that. Just it's a great way to build empathy for uh, future uh, customers as well. And number two, from an owner, I always recommend try and respond with a little bit more information. So like, thank you, Jeremy, or thank you for the positive review. Always try to expand that and say, you know, we're glad that you like your your new roof or, your, you know, we're happy we we're able to repair your roof or anything else like that. It's going to be um, a slight ranking factor because you're including more keywords in your response. Uh, another thing that's helping them is that they show their address 102 as Main Street. This is a big, big deal. So a lot of times I've been reached out to from contractors and other local businesses too that don't have an address. And they say, how do I rank better? And my first recommendation is to get a business address. TM Blast has a business address. Um, it's a big part of Google My Business because if you can if you can drop a pin where Google can drop a pin directly on the map, they know exactly where you are, you can build a radius around it. So. If you were a contractor, let's say a, like a, a roof repair contractor and you are you work from home and you don't have a business location, but you're like, I really want to rank in Syracuse or wherever I'm located, get a business location in Syracuse. Find an office location that you can get, negotiate obviously the price, try and get a business location there, get the sign, get Google My Business verified for your location and then build your map around it. It's going to be such a better ranking um, opportunity for you than just being a service area. Um, another thing that's helping them is that they have uh, 24 hours. So 24 hours open seven days a week, I'm assuming, right? Yep. Um, Google has said openness is a ranking factor. So if they're able to take phone calls at two in the morning for someone looking for roof repair, that is working in their favor. Uh, Q&A, so they have one question. So what I recommend here is uh, expand upon this. So ask more questions as the business owner, talk about roof repair, roof replacement, anything else like that and all the other services you provide, but let's really focus on roof repair, roofing contractor, anything else like that. Ask the question yourself and then answer it. It's gonna really help with the rankings. Um, so they have one update here. I recommend um, one to two updates per week. So if your team is going out to do a roof repair or roof replacement or anything else like that, show the photos of the team working, a great way to build a, a, a human touch to your Google My Business profile. Um, and also you could talk about the project you're doing, what town you're doing, um, the service and anything else like that. Uh, it's gonna be a big part uh, to rank a little bit better. And then finally, now this is interesting here, you only have two products um, and when I clicked on view all, it's just roofing shingles and some roofing shingles spelled wrong. So what I would do is actually have a product carousel for 
roof repair, roof replacement, everything else like that. What do I mean? So if you Google the term TM Blast, I'll go back to see all products here. I have a product carousel where I list off all the different types of services that I do. Um, it's a great way to really build the knowledge panel. Uh, also, it's, great, it's a good way. It's a good way for me to rank a little bit better. Also, for terms like Troy, New York, it's connected to New York, um, Syracuse, New York, everything else like that, because you kind of build that into the product uh, carousel. So for me, for my NYC local SEO page, I have a brief description of what this is, visit site, and you go directly to the NYC uh, local SEO page. Okay, so that is their Google My Business account. Lots of things that they can do. One thing I also wanted to share, and it's a little bit hard to see it like this. So you have to go to uh, their description, which is, uh, actually it's missing. They don't have a description, it looks like. Oh, no, they do. Uh, this is it. Uh, CNY, so the Center for Central New York's Roofing and General Contracting Specialist. I think Google gives you about 750 characters, give or take, to write. So the description here is um, you really want to be uh, building that out. So let's go to mine real quick. You have this from TM Blast to talk about basically who I am and all the stuff that I do. Expand upon that. And then you can look at the map here. And then for you, you would you would say things like, let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see. I would say, you know, things around like Syracuse. I would say things like Fairmount. I would say, um, uh, let's see what else we got here. South side, east side, Lincoln Hill. I would list off all those towns directly in your description. Um, it's a great way to build the knowledge around all the service areas that you provide, uh, roofing. Um, as a roofing contractor, that's a great way to show exactly that you do uh, roofing in all these places. Let's look at, before we go into their website, let's look at Bing real quick. So the term here again is SOS Roofing New York. I'll move my screen over. You can see here, address shown, that's great, keyword shown, uh, phone number, 24 hours, all that stuff. That's Everything's good. Again, description, not long. Service area just says Syracuse. This is an opportunity right here. If you go to the site called Chicago Made Services, they are a professional service type because obviously they go out to clean houses and apartments. You as a roofing contractor go out to repair roof, or, you know, repair roofs and stuff. Notice how they have a service areas here. They have all the places that they do business on or at. Your listing only shows you do Syracuse. So I would go through the map that I showed again with Local Falcon. List off all of the parts of Syracuse, build out all the areas around it. Cause if you do, let's say in a 10 mile radius around Syracuse, list off those towns. It's a ranking signal for Bing. It's also a good way for users to know exactly that you can service their business as well. Um, let, let's look at the website. So I'm not gonna get into things like title tags and meta name descriptions and images and you know load time and anything else like that. That's not really what I want to go over. Instead, what I want to really focus on is uh, helpful signals for the website. So what I mean by that, you have uh, find us. You have the 102 S Main Street, number five, Syracuse, New York. What I recommend is to embed the Google My Business map directly into your footer. Um, I recommend doing this because it's a link between both profiles. So a user who comes to your website could then click on the Google My, My Business map. It's a directions it will pop up in Google Maps um, or Apple Maps, I'm not sure, whatever is the default. But the point though is that it's still a direct link that can get someone to your location. It also kind of gives more helpful signals to Google that this is where your location is. If you go to TM Blast and uh, look at my website, so if I click on it right over here, you'll see what I'm referring to. So let's go all the way down to the bottom of the page. What I do here is um, I, let's grab this, here we go. All the way down, okay. My Google My Business map here is on the bottom left. I have my business address, have the phone number and email address. It's just a good connection between my Google, my business profile and my website. It's across every page because it's in my footer. It really helps me rank a lot better. Um, and let's look at the website one more time. What else can we do? Oh yeah. One thing that I would do too is I would have a service like Trust Index or something similar to display the uh, reviews directly on your website. So you have this here, it says 130 plus, but there's no reviews. It just kind of says like Google reviews. Um, what I recommend is again, use something like Trust Index. Let me go to my website so you can see, I have this thing in the footer where it brings in the 34 reviews I have and it cycles through 
um, the latest reviews, basically. And you can change the settings, of course. But the thing, though, is that you want to kind of build trust for users, build um, that that strong connection between, you know, your roof repair, people leaving reviews about it, you're displaying what they're saying. Um, I would I would encourage you to do that as well. All right, last thing, let's go over real quick. So um, links do play a, um, a part in local SEO ranking. So you can't just launch a website one day and say, let's just rank. I'm following Greg's you know, suggestions. I'm gonna have a Google My Business account and then I should be able to rank. It's more to it than just that. So what I, to, uh, what I do for clients is that I take their domain name and then I do minus their domain name again. And what I wanna know is, uh, let me go back, I clicked on their Facebook by accident. What I wanna see here is anything on the web that links out to them that's not their own website. So Yelp, that's a very important link. Facebook, you have Nextdoor, Instagram, Better Business Bureau, um, and you know some other things too. MapQuest, great. What I don't see though is I don't see any, well, I mean, let me just go, scroll down a little bit further just so I can confirm this. And I don't, yes. So I don't see any local directories in Syracuse. Um, so if you are a Syracuse business, you should be trying to get on local directories that are in and around Syracuse, New York. You want to build that entity building, or you want to build that entity score of um, you're on, let's say, Syracuse.org. You're on a Chamber of Commerce out in Syracuse. You want to be on as many relevant Syracuse, New York listings to build out that profile. So Google and also Bing, but also users too, will know exactly that your business does uh, roofing in this area. Plus also it can pass referral traffic too. So don't worry about domain rating and link uh, juice and anything else like that. Just focus on if a user is searching for a uh, roofing contractor, they're on the Chamber of Commerce site for Syracuse, then they can find your listing because then you're listed there. And you can also negotiate uh, marketing um, opportunities on those sites. A lot of those Chamber of Commerces have email lists that they do once a month or more often. And you can you know try to secure a placement and say, okay, for you know for next month, I want to feature my business and I want, I want the email to go out to the 10,000 plus members, let's say, of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and I want to advertise my roofing contracting service. Maybe I'm offering like a discount for first time, whatever it is. Great way to kind of, you know, take advantage of an existing audience that's in your desired area. And also it's a good way to separate from Google search and also Bing search uh, to kind of, you know, build out your your reach as how to simply just rely only on search. Um, Anyway, those are the tips that I recommend. They're doing a lot of good things. You know, it's a very competitive keyword, but they have a 27% market share for that. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope if you guys found it interesting, then it can help your business. If you need any help, always feel free to either message me, respond to this video. You can go to my website and fill out the form, anything like that. Happy to always help. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. And as always, have a good rest of your day.